so we've got your audio, but we don't have video. I just asked if you could turn it on. There we are. Hey, you've made it. Hi, Hi Chantal. I'm so inspired to be sitting with you tonight. Hi. 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 Nice to meet you. I recently watched your movie, I'm Going to Break Your Heart. Isn't it good? It's amazing. Yay. Where it's are amazing. You? I'm all the way in the east coast of Canada. I'm near Ottawa, and you've been here a few times. Mm -hmm. I saw you mm -hmm. live at Christmas. I think it was either 2019, yep. and yep. thank you so much for coming. Uh, first off, when I watched your movie, I didn't know you were French. Yes, you speak a little French. Okay, good, good. Um, I speak French, but yes. Yes, you speak French. Why? Um, dans le film, in the movie, uh, two quotes stood out for me. I love the part where the therapist at the beginning tells Rain, uh, you're each other's emotional home, home. but you're never home. home. Yeah. So beautiful. So beautiful. It was so touching. And the other part, I think it's three quarters down, um, um, you say to Rain, when we're okay everyone's okay yeah. referring to your boys it was just such a yeah, yeah such mm -hmm. a heartfelt i had i i know you're um i'm mindful of your time i do have uh -huh. two questions for you please um please. wonderful so uh, you know it's around valentine's day and i see yeah. you and rain as i put you in a power couple category so mm -hmm. one of my questions is what is the reward of having persevered throughout the challenges of your mm -hmm. relationship and my other question is if you had the wisdom you have today back mm -hmm. then what would you teach your younger self the reward for persevering is that um, and I'll try to articulate this as best as possible, but the, I think throughout your life, you have your, your love relationships and then you have your relationships within yourself. So you have your co-regulation and your self-regulation and you're going to self-regulate whether you like it or not. There's a lot of ways to skin the cat, but the thing is that in the end, you learn a lot of things about the world. You learn that stardust doesn't fall on you. You learn that money doesn't buy happiness. You learn, um, that you only need a couple great friends. You learn that, you know, materials aren't everything, blah, 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 blah. And, and so what I love about having persevered with my guy is that now my person is there with me now that I've caught up as an individual. So that at the end of all my learning experiences and getting to a place of sort of like, you know, arriving, in my self-realization, I didn't sacrifice that along the way. I didn't have to lose my partner while I was self-realizing. And I feel that th th that's lucky. It did yeah. take work, but it's really lucky. And one of the things that Dr. John said to us about a dozen years ago when we, when we first sat on his couch was, he said, you've made it here today and I'm really glad because you got a lot worth fighting for here. Your history. Mm. You know, one day you'll be old. Wouldn't it be so nice to have each other? Mm. You know, and I and I and that stuck with me because the bigger fight was coming. Like all those next years, we were pretty young. We were pretty smart to go and sit on the couch. Pretty young. So there's just stuff you have to go through, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then the other thing you asked me. Can you just briefly repeat it, and then I'll be able to. Yeah. If you know, if you knew back then what basically what you know today, what would you teach your younger self? Well, or even what would you do different? You know, something. We've around. got about 30 seconds. Sorry. Guys. Yeah. Okay. You know, that's a really tough question because, okay. um, well, I guess what I would teach my younger self. I can't see. You. Okay. I, I think, I think, you know, if I could, it would be just a couple small skills within, um, coupling. Um, you know, for example, you can just uh, let a lot of stuff go that yeah. you think you have to fight for. Yeah. 
yeah. within your inter your interpersonal and intimate relationships. That and and to realize that like like everyone is 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 flawed and no one and nothing is perfect. Um, and so one of our coaches, not John, but another one, she taught us in family coaching. She said, I want you to, um, you know, write down stuff when they happen. And I'm like, you mean when they're like throwing stuff at each other, just go write it down. And she said, yeah. Like, unless they're actually killing each other, let them figure it out. And if it really bugged you because it was interrupting your peace while you were reading or mm-hmm. watching a show, mm-hmm. just go write it down. And then at your family meeting in a week, go check off your list and pick a couple things. And I was like, are you crazy? I'm from a European, Eastern European background. You mm-hmm. just yell and scream when something bugs you. So we started doing those meetings and we didn't do them forever. We don't do them forever. We have our own form of family meeting now. But what I learned from it was that I would look at that list and most of the things didn't bug me anymore. Yeah. So that's how I look at things as they happen now. Is that really going to piss me off in a week? And if it's not, let it go. Gotcha. Right? Yeah. The ability so of letting you know, things those are, go. Those are sort of, and it's the same with my husband. Like, there's very few things now. You know, we, we practice no suggestions, help, judgment, or criticism. Mm-hmm. And that brings your brain into a similar pathology to when you were a baby and your mother held you. Mm-hmm. And she didn't yell at you for puking, mm-hmm. pooping, peeing, wreaking havoc, sleep deprivation. You were still loved anyway. Mm-hmm. And that's how your partner makes you feel when you first meet them. Because like, oh my God, everybody's been yelling at me my whole life. And now I just met you. And you're so nice to me. You just like me. And you just want to have sex with me. And you just you just dig me. So the idea is now we've spent all this time together and figured out all these things we hate about each other and, and, and you're bickering and blah, 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 blah. So when you come into this realization that you can actually just say nothing and let them be, you give them the love that they've been searching for their their whole life and that they had for just a moment with you. And then it was gone when life came in the way. Right. And then you, they give it back to you and like, you have fun. Like now my husband and I, usually we just like make cute jokes with each other. We don't actually pick at each other anymore. And it's really fun. Right on. Yeah. Just allowing space. You don't have to agree. Yeah. The other day, very quickly, and then I have to go, and I yeah. hope you'll enjoy the show. Okay. The other day, Rain and I were big, like something was happening. There was like a conflict thing. And we went at it for a second about it. And then I walked over to him and I go, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm not spending another moment on this. He's like, oh, for God's sake. And I was like, no, I'm not. I promise you, it's done. And that didn't mean that I didn't still feel the same way about my opinion. But it was me saying, I value my time in this world. And I value our peace and our space here. Mm-hmm. I will not continue to feel toxic here in this moment about that. It's gone. Wow. And you know, so but you have to put these things into practice and then, and then the environment shifts and then it's in your kids, mm. you know, and it's, it's all around you. And that's, what's really, really exciting, you know, and we do grow at separate paces sometimes and have different growth spurts at different times, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. You're doing great. You look great. I love your setup. I love your hair. I love your sweater. (laughs) I have to get cute for you. (laughs) You did good. You did real good. (laughs) So come back anytime to Ottawa. I'm always going to be around listening to you and coming with rain when you guys played on the piano in Ottawa yeah. Major Park. Oh my God, yeah. amazing. You guys, mwah. mwah. Enjoy the show tonight. It's I so will. nice to meet you, Sasha. Same and here. You again. I'm sorry. Okay. I, I said, it's so nice to meet you, Sasha, and we'll see you again soon. Sounds good. Same here, okay. Love you, lady, bye. Okay, bye.